Yeah, and to be honest, that takes us perfectly into the next part of the show. The mm. combined 11, which the I can't... Start the <laughs> yeah, the, the, longest, the longer I've done this stream, the more I just sat there and thought, why did I sit here and say combined 11? Because I just realised we're barely getting any players into this. But hey, fuck it, we're here now. Let's start. We'll start off in goal. Casper Michael versus Edward Mendy. And Ooh. I like Mendy. Mendy's been Mendy good. Clean sheets plus this season, I think. Yeah, man. It was a good, but, good signing for you boys. No, no, no. Really good good signing. I won't say really good, but good. But yeah. also, same way, like we said with Ben Chilwell, the standard was in hell before he joined. He literally just had to do the basics and we sat there and cheered. And when it came to Mendy, we were literally cheering him catching the ball because we've been that limited in terms of what we needed out of a goalkeeper. Done it for three years. I like Mendy. <laughs> Low-key, there's been a couple mistakes popping into his game over the last few matches. I will put that down to bad form. I'm not going to say he's a terrible goalkeeper as a result of it. Plus, we've had a year of Kepper. I'm not going to sit here and start moaning about Edouard Mendy. But the fact <laughs> is, we didn't ask for a world-class goalkeeper. We didn't ask for anything excellent. We asked for a solid goalkeeper that could produce solid games. We have that with him. Would I put him up there as one of the best goalkeepers in the league? Not necessarily too sure. I think it's a bit too early to call that. But... Uh, compared to Kasper Schmeichel, I don't know if I can push an agenda on this one. I can't lie. Craig, have you got anything or would you say Kasper too? I, I, I have a vast feeling I'm going to be overruled, so I will concede. But I do think that Mendy is um, he's making mistakes. Yeah, fine. Um, but I don't think there's that much of a difference between uh, Mendy and Kasper Schmeichel. Not necessarily saying that Kasper Schmeichel's bag and Mendy's whatever. I both think they're really good goalkeepers, but I will, I will happily concede to uh to uh Kasper Schmeichel yes I'm glad, you, you guys I'm glad you said that Kasper Schme you know Kasper Schmeichel was the first person to run to the Vichai's helicopter that went down it was the very first yeah person. I remember that yeah you know he is Mr Loyal he, he's Mr Lesser City uh Kasper Schmeichel and he, I think he played his four and a half game as well against Southampton yeah I think that sounds right so uh yeah I'm going Kasper, Kasper sorry I mean I yeah. might as well put my graphic up and say the combined 11 is just the Leicester team to be fair <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. We'll get we'll get a couple in. We'll there. go to that in a minute. Yes, yeah, so we'll move into a very hotly debate debated position. Right back. Both our right backs have been balling out this season. Did you say it was Castagna or did you say it was uh they're, they're constantly Robin switching that's the, for you guys? That's, a, that's the problem. Let's switch well, for that reason, I'll take Reese James then. because uh, you haven't got a proper right back. <laughs> You've just got two fullbacks that run around all over the place. <laughs> I mean, mean Reese James isn't exactly um, Mr. Um, Ashley Cole, is he? No, he will I, be. I think he hey, will be. I can't lie. I said Reese James is the best right back in the league for a reason. I think this season he has been the most consistent right back. I do think you guys as well will push James Justin in there. And to be honest, I think his numbers are more or less the same or better compared to Reese James as well. Can we just say that if Ricardo Pro was fit, this wouldn't even exactly. be an argument. This wouldn't be an argument. Exactly. Argue. But and we'll, I know, we'll let you have it. Thank we'll God. Let you have it. Like, here's the thing. <laughs> um, I'll get. Would you take Justin at left back? Because I don't mind putting Justin on the left hand side. Reese James at right back, and we can go from there. Saves a lot of argument arguing about because I can't like Reese James is the one I'm going to push for. I, I think I prefer uh, James Justin to Chilwell at the moment. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You can have James Justin on the left hand side. That's fine by me. Now, I thought that would be, that would have been a harder debate for that. Now, I think Chilwell would have been a harder harder debate yeah, to practice no, with that's James. Fair, that's fair. Um, centre back, Tiago Silva has to go in. Yeah, at the very least, we got to have Tiago. I mean, he's he's, 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 he's a tough one, man. It's a I tough still one. I think Zuma was better than him. I think Zuma was better than him. Really. I, I, I think Zuma has got all the ability, all the technical ability to be better than Thiago Silva, but he has to have that calm presence next to him, which is Thiago Silva. Thiago so, Silva's older than me, so I, I'm, no, I'm going to change my mind. Here's, here's the thing, <laughs> I can't lie. Like, Kurt Zuma, on the ball, maybe short passes, okay, maybe. No, long passes, I'd prefer him on. Short passes, he sh he's, a, he's shaky, worries me all the time. I think Thiago Silva's a much that more calm person. As a defender, I think he's way better. The only thing t uh, Kurt Zuma has on him is athleticism. He's quicker. He's got he's a better good. jump on him. He's got yeah. all the best attributes that you want in a defender. But in terms of the mind state and in terms of technical ability, I think Thiago Silva is levels above him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like Carvalho and Terry. Terry did the legwork for years. Carvalho was the brains. And then all, all of a sudden it switched around. 
Oh, but that's that was... why they're also a perfect partnership as yeah. well. Like, yeah, we, yeah. I've run my agendas on my centre backs, but I know Kurt Zuma starts because he's the one that compliments Thiago Silva the best, and that mm -hmm. works perfectly as a partnership. But as a player, I think Thiago Silva has to go in there. Fine. So, are we doing like an experience? So we do like Evans yeah, well, versus I, Thiago Silva, yeah. and then Zuma versus Sionchu slash Fofana, because that's the <laughs> only way. Because what you yeah. were saying, that's yeah, the yeah. only way you're going to get that. Because if you put Zuma and Sionchu together, that's, oh, that's not, not a working. good match line working. because you no. need that, that well. anchor. You need that anchor and that person that's going to go right. You go here, listen to me. We'll see this game out for a clean sheet. That's right. Yeah, what, Neil, that's that's what, what, what Neil was yeah. saying, the reason why Fafana and Sunchu would have performed so well was because he's, he's, they've, they've both had Johnny Evans next to yeah. Yeah. Uh, as yeah, much as Johnny Evans fair. might get ridiculed for you know being past it or whatever, it's what he's doing no, for he's been a solid centre-back for you yeah, guys. He he which is, yeah, which is why way. I actually make the argument for Evans over Thiago. Mm -hmm. oh. I was gonna say he's been solid, but like Tiago Silva, nah, nah, nah. Sorry, sorry. Nah, like, Silver, right. uh, Tiago uh, Silva. Um, we going Tiago Silva then? Yeah, okay. I'll cool. concede. Silva. Um, Kurt Zuma versus Soyuncu or Fafana. Mm. Um, I, I don't yeah. know which one of the two is better for you guys. I I, I don't know which one. But obviously, yeah, Soyuncu has been injured though, hasn't he, for quite a while? Um, he's so only we'll just go Fafana then. Yeah, Sunch is only just coming back into the mix. Uh, I think he tore an up. Is it an abductor tear or something he was out for? Some kind of groin yeah, hip yeah. thing. So let's go with Fafan, I think, just purely for game time and form. Yeah, I mean, you were saying you prefer Kurt Zuma to Thiago Silva, so I'm not sure what your thoughts are, Ian. But I push for Thiago Silva, so I can happily relent a little bit more on this one. But what are you saying? I, I think I'm, I'm going to try and push an agenda for Kurt Zuma, but I think. Slowly as we go forward in this team, we might start to realise that Leicester have got a few more players than maybe we would hope they would. Uh, so. actually, which player are we going to then? Out of cards, yeah, I'm still back with Kurt Zuma. <laughs> no, I'm back. <laughs> if, we, if we have this conversation in a year's time, I'm genuinely saying for Farner. But again, he's joined, he's 19, he's young, he's, he's unbelievable from how he is. However, he's still quite young. So I'll, I'll give you the centre back, but however, still sort of a little bit about Johnny Evans. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, we'll we'll leave this one as a middle point because you don't necessarily have to agree on every single one, guys. Do let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. We did left back. We put James Justin in there. Let's go into actually no two questions before we go into midfield formation and are we doing ability or form? Oof. Do form. It's real. It's real time. Yeah, you have to do form. Yeah. Let's go forms. Oh, damn it. Let's are go. we playing a four, two, three, one, or are we I playing? Think so. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so because that's probably yeah, yeah. how we're going to line up. And if you're playing a four, three, three, that's pretty it's, much it's similar. Not too dissimilar. Anyway. Anyway. Can yeah. you do a four, two, three, one as well, please. I'd, I'd really appreciate. <laughs> not, a, not a double pivot of Jorginho and Kovacic for God's I, sake. No, get get both of them out of here. I want Gilmore and someone else next to him. Money uh, mate. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, mate. Yes, yes. Well, we're not even debating who's going in the middle, right? We're obviously going Ndidi in the middle, right? Uh, yeah, Ndidi. I will have Ndidi. Ndidi. Fine. Um, okay. Next to Ndidi, if we're doing it based on form, um, I will have Tillemans. It has to be. It has to be Tillemans. Belgium international. I will ask. Can I ask you this question? Then? Because I am, I am torn at number 10. So yeah. the obvious candidate for you is Madison. Oh, the obvious um, candidate for us is Mount. Mason Mount. Would yes. you be prepared to leave out Madison to get in Tielemans? Or or would you are you dead set on that? Because for me, money money mace, Mason Mount has got to be in this team. <laughs> Can Madison play on the wings. My nah. man telling me no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Lampard likes to push Mason Mount onto the wing, so I think we can do the same thing. Because oh, I'm only oh, pushing really for one winger. Scores now, <laughs> I'm only pushing for one winger in this in this right now. And it's are, are, are you leaving point. out Harvey Barnes, then, mate? Are you leaving out Harvey Barnes? <laughs> I can't see, he's, 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 he's carefree for a reason. He's carefree for a reason, you see. He's carefree for a reason. Uh, we, can, we, can, <laughs> we can play a CDM of Ndidi. That's fine. That's sorted. Now yeah. it's the formation going forward, like a 4-1, like a 3-1 or a, 
um four one kind of thing. That's where it kind of trails off. Should we do this? Should we, we very quickly four three three typical Lampard style? Let's go <laughs> for it. Should we agree on this? I think we can all probably agree. Vardy starts up front. Yeah. Oh wow. I didn't think he was going to go for that. Well, I'm just trying oh, to yeah, run yeah, through yeah. this. Is Giroud, and Giroud hasn't really played enough for me. Can we say left wing has got to be Harvey Barnes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought you'd yeah. make a case for somebody else, but... No, 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 no. Only no, 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 no. And I could what? take Hudson Adoy on either wing. Why are you not going? Like, why are you not boys back in Pudisic? He ain't been that good uh, the last few games. Yeah, if we're going on form, he's not doing it at the moment, I must be honest. Wow. You guys are dropping as well? Uh, we're we're going to be honest here. Like Pulisic, quality player if we're talking about ability, but if we're going to oh, talk yeah. about recent form, he's been off the pace the last few games. He's still coming back from his injury. He's still getting confidence back in himself. He, he's still figuring himself out. Right now, the only good winger that we've had is hudson Odoi, and he's had barely any game time, which is probably why you haven't even noticed that, to be honest. But mm. managerial issues, he should be playing more. I'm not going to say too much about I, it. I think, he, I think he will. I think you'll slowly start to see that in playing more. Uh, I better because mm. like I'm get, I'm running out of defenses for this. He should have started. <laughs> the game. So 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 what are we saying? We're saying Harvey Barnes left and then Hudson Odoi right? Or are we uh, well, Hudson Odoi who, over? Who's the left candidate for right midfield or right wing? Well, we, You've we, got we, Mark Albright, who is seriously underrated. Yeah, and he's really yeah. good, but he's not on that level. But but he's that player that for Leicester works fantastically yeah. as of yeah. eleven. He's he's. He's not getting in. However, but in he, Leicester's eleven, he's he's getting in. If that he, makes he's sense. Not getting in ahead of Z, he's a team player. His teamwork and his work yeah. ethic is yeah. better than his out and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leicester have had a few of those down the years. To be fair, though. All right, so we're going years. left wing Harvey Barnes. We're going right wing then. A lot of people are saying ZH. We're talking recent form. That's why I can recent Ziyech form. Yeah, he's been injured. I'll have Hudson Odoi. All right, so Hudson Odoi on the right. Now in the middle, we start. Hey. With Sorted that out yet? So <laughs> it was Helaman's Mount or Madison. Two out of the three. One of I'll, them's. I'll enough. say Mount. I will say Mount and Madison. I think Madison's superb. Yeah, but you can't oh, use it. Yeah, yeah but it, that, that's Tillemans true. has I'm been not, better I'm this season not, than Madison. Not having Mount in this. I am not. Oh, we're talking about on form. Two goals in his last two games. He's the only person that ever puts in a fucking chip for us half the time. Oh, I can't I'm happy Mason him. Mount. I'm happy Mason Mount. I'm over back. the uh, over the course of the season, apart two goals in two points, games, Madison as well. By the way, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Mount's probably been our best mid. But, um, well, over we can't we can't play about Tillman. We you can't play less yeah. about Tillman's right now. If He's on, had a bad game, Mount right now, hundred percent slump. Like he, everything goes through him. His yeah. form in the Belgium. So I would actually say play Tillman's over Madison. Wow, genuinely, for the formation we're playing. You can't have Madison gets the headlines and his goals have been fantastic. However, you'll probably see this tomorrow's game. The role that Tillerman plays with, especially with Indy, is yeah. immense. Mm -hmm. And the balls is put through. He's not got the assist, but it's the massive long ball over to the person that gets in, who then yeah. Vardy puts yeah. it away. So and a yeah. lot of credit if you don't watch. It's one of those players where you don't watch the game. Tillerman's is unbelievable. He had a bad game against Liverpool. He lost 3 0. Literally, that's how severe it is. Mm -hmm. And if and he's did, tired, and, and, and he takes the ball. Tillman's plays the fucking ball. It's just, it's that simple, boys. You can't play without him. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to so mount um, Tillman's and and midfield three. Yeah. Are we are we going to agree on that? I think so. Okay. Totally just a handshake. We got this, guys. So <laughs> we'll go through the lineup one more time. So that's Casper Smichael in goal. Reese James right back, Thiago Silva and one of Fafana and Kurt Zuma as the other centre back option. James Justin at left back, Tielemans and Didi, Mason Mount, uh, Hudson Adoy, Harvey Barnes and Jamie Vardy. Everyone happy with that? Okay, okay. Hudson Adoy over ZH. Hudson Adoy over ZH. Recent form Hudson Adoy over ZH. Point out there, Lewis, we have got four players in that 11 and potentially oh, five if we, if, we, we if we can argue the case for Zuma. That's fucking not four and a half if, works for me. Like I thought, if we, were we said at the beginning half. of the season, though, if we said at the beginning of the season, you got, I think, for player for player, you have got a much better squad than us. But it shows you how we've kind of gelled, and and that's what you need. That's basically the money can't fix issue that you mm. guys need at the moment. Is that kind of cohesion and playing together as a team? Once you get that sorted, I think it's going to be immense. It's going to be a good game anyway. It's yeah, someone said.